He's back in the house, back in the house. Yeah, I'm back in my house. In my house. I'm in the warm room. The cold room's the other side. Okay. Today, we are back with Spucky. Spucky. I love Spucky. Spucky Linux 6.6. Now, this is the LX Cute version. Because I've just thought I'd play away from the team, you know. And just see what it's like. Now, remember, it's Debian based. Being that, I can't get it to fit my frame resolution. Even with virtual box extensions payment the posterior i know but hey we live with these things okay i could have done it in, in real stuff but uh no i couldn't bother because i'm just giving you a look what it looks like just in case you want to look at it okay so sparky and a few other debian distributions look very very similar if you know what i mean but we'll just go through this one okay the weird thing is a few of the Debian distributions that I have um, done over the past couple of weeks, maybe months, or we'll say month, have the display has been fine. This one, not working for me. Okay. Anyway, this is LXD Qt. Uh, previously, LXDE. Okay. And then we moved over to Qt. So we've got over here, we have Shire Desktop. Over here, our time and our... Ba -ba -ba -ba, calendar and uh, volume what's that one there uh, oh if you plug sync in or you put a cd or dvd in it will show what's that one there it's that ethernet connection because we're wired here no, we're in the box so that's what i and we've got quipper which is the copy manager sort of thing ting if you know what i'm saying yeah okay i went to desktop preferences to see if i could change the background but they weren't really. Oh, is there any backgrounds? Oh, there is other backgrounds. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, there's some nice backgrounds that you can have. Oh, I don't. Oh, it's spiky. I like that. I tried it a few times before I done the video, and I thought oh, there weren't much there, and I forgot to click browse, didn't I? Because I'm an idiot, as you are. So we'll go with. Uh, let's go that one. We'll open that. And apply. Okay. It's not the best resolution picture, but it's quite nice, isn't it? I imagine if you've got a small lappy, a small screen, that would look fantastic. But hey, yeah. Anyway, so that's that bad way. Right. Bin XL. Sorry. Yeah. QT. I'm just going to call it QT. You get accessories. There's not much there. You get graphics. There's not much there. Get internet. Ooh. Now there's a surprise. We have Firefox as our browser, but then you get some KDE stuff like conversation, copet. Yeah, I didn't expect this as well. No, oh, okay. And Qubit Torrent. Okay. Under Office we get the folder office suite. Under programming we get what's an icon browser? That's not can't be programming, can it? You can't behave yourself. Well, maybe it is. Maybe that's me. I may look at it another day. I may not. This isn't, I'm not going to keep this on the system, guys, by the way. But I do like Sparky. Sparky's been going for a really long time, to be honest with you. Sound and video. Uh, and there is where we have the problem. It could be a box problem. It could be not. But we do get Clementine as our music player. Uh, rhythm box, I um, don't particularly like anymore. When rhythm box was around for, say, um, Ubuntu 7.10 and the 8 series, rhythm box was okay. Clementine's just surpasses it. It just does it more, to be honest with you. So, yeah, Clementine's here. Pulse Audio, big problem with that at the moment. We'll come to that in another video very soon this week. Radio stations, okay. See, everything's hanging. VLCs, by default. Webca webcam on okay. XF burn. Voco screen. We all used to use this back in the day. Oh, and it still works. I tried it the other day. It's superb. It just doesn't get the... the um, how can I say it? People would want to use it. System tools. App to center. Shall we? Oh, I'm just going to open that. App to center. Let's have a look. I need to put my password in for that. And we'll whoop that up. And it's going to refresh our package list. Hmm. 
So it's just like a an app centre really. So if I go to desktops, what do I get? Uh, well, quite a lot of desktops. Oh my god, that's really good actually. I do really do like that. So I can have awesome. I can have Bisprin. I can have Budgie. Flashback Gnome. Oh, enlightenment. I like enlightenment. That's good. Ice. Da oh, ice, ice Windows Windows. I like that. KDE Plasma, Lumina, LXDE, LXQT, which we've already got. But it's not coming up as ticked. Hmm, maybe this one. Open box, open box noir, peak. Sh Would anybody want to use sugar now? But maybe. Uh, Trinity, that's old school gnome 2. Oh, I like window maker as well. Oh, it's just, it's just too much. What's going down? We go back. Does that take me back? Yes, it does. So, so if I go to internet, what does it give me? Uh, but plenty web browsers. Oh, okay. Let's have a play here, guys. So, so I, oh, I'll drop that. Sorry. I get Google Chrome from here. Let's have a go. So I flicked it. Let's see if it works. No, it's a virt. Should I? Okay. State. Not a real package, virtual. Should I install the package you have chosen? Okay, we'll give that a go. Okay, Sparky, I trust you. I imagine this is going to have the most current version. And it will download all the stuff that we need. So let's come down to reasonable speed, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Uh, it needs... Libu Dev, yeah, okay. We can do that. Let's do it. I'm going to have some apple juice while it's doing that. So, uh, yeah, it'll be fine. A different way of doing it. Normally I just go to the... I just go to the site and get the download. But Puppy doesn't do it that way anymore anyway. Oh, it's been installed apparently. So we'll exit that. And we'll exit the Aptus App Center. Is this one of those things I'm going to keep on the system to keep them a look at? Oh, Sparky, I love you so much, but I didn't expect this. Oh, it's, yeah, it's installed. Let's have a look. Okay. Works fine. Oh, so if we go down to help about Chrome, it's 1.9.05414. So it's a reasonably current version. I'm impressed already. Sparky, you're getting really good, aren't you? Oh, Sparky. Anyway, system tools. About Sparky Linux. Should we go there? Yeah, let's go. Let's have a look. Sparky 6.6. Potolo, blah, 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 blah. Says where I am. Sees where I am. How long have I been doing this virtual machine? Which is 12 minutes, apparently. But I did do it, installed it ages ago, by the way. So, there's no swap. Open box Windows Manager. Okay. Sneaky is my stuff here. Oof. Gives you too much information for you lot. Okay. What else do you get? GW package installer. That'd be great. It's two. Make your own USB. Q terminal. QQQ. System info. We just did that. Time shift. That's a really good one to have as well. What's that down there? See, it's a bit not quite here. USB disk formatter. We can do that. The welcome... Was it a welcome one? I didn't do that, did I? So this is what comes up when you first install it. Or run the USB or the DVD or whatever you're doing. Homepage forums. We can get... Yeah. It's good. It's good. Sparkly. I'm impressed. Must have put your real hardware at this rate. Bloody hell. Blimey. And you get Synaptic. We love Synaptic. And the UNXQ settings appearance date and time desktop file associations etc etc so far i've not done much with it i've just showed you the same thing i would do when we first install a distro i'm impressed a pity about that background if it would have been a bit more quality it'd been fantastic well sparky gonna spend some more time with you aren't we sneaky linux out i'll see you later bye, -bye.